Russia and Ukraine war has been going on from the past 17 months. This map shows the most recent update on the area controlled by Russia. The most important and dangerous piece of infrastructure controlled by Russia is a nuclear power plant located in the Zaporizhia state of Ukraine. This is the largest nuclear power plant in Europe and among the 10 largest in the world. This plant generates 5700 megawatt electricity from a total of 6 nuclear reactors. The plant is under Russian military occupation but it is still being run by Ukrainian staff. Recently, Russian forces have placed explosive mines near the facility. The mines were located in a buffer zone between the plant's internal and external barriers and were facing away from the facility. They were spotted by inspectors of the UN's International Atomic Energy Agency. The main motive of the agency is to promote peaceful use of the nuclear energy and keep a check on its use in the military organizations. The agency's director, General Rafael Mariano Grossi, issued a note stating that having such explosives on the site is in consistence with the IAEA safety standards and nuclear clear security guidance and creates additional psychological pressure on the plant staff. However, the Russian security personnel present on the site explained that they are for defense purposes. Ukrainian energy minister German Glushenko told in a statement earlier this month that it might blow up at any moment, we just don't know when. Russians have completely cut us off the safety monitoring systems. Another point to note is that the six reactors of the plant have been shut down since September, but the facility's access to the Ukrainian power grid, which is required to power the cooling systems has been regularly disrupted. As Ukrainian troops have been fully advancing in the Zaporizhia region, Kyiv officials are afraid that Russians might try to create a diversion. Now even if the plant explodes, the reactors being shut down limits the risk of fallout from an explosion. But people living within 20 miles of the reactor should be aware of the safety procedures.